Oh, just look at this. Really horrible, nasty weather. And it has been like this all day. At least it's got rid of the flaming dog with wings. But, you know what? I got my chimney up. Yeah, you know, see that? He's got a thing on top. Stop the water going down. Look at that. Oh, drop of water gone straight on the lens. And it's a bit like Tim, Tim's, uh, Tim's camera when he was on snobby steam. So let me clean that off. Anyway, we come in here and am I bothered? No, because we've got the fire going. Last uh, last summer, yeah, I was saying last summer, uh, Aldi do these uh, heat powered stove fan. They have a, a thermoelectric barrier in between which creates electricity when it gets hot. Electricity turns that fan like that. See, I can stop it and it blows. Uh, blow some of the hot heat around the garage oh look at those lovely coals uh, I've got a CO1 is that CO carbon monoxide detector there uh, saw me yesterday I picked up some of that wood out of that skit uh, this is the reason why that. boosh that should keep us going for a while we need to head in there and look at that but first, I need some sustenance. Uh, nothing fancy, just uh, cheese, ham, and tomato on toast, and a cup of coffee. So I'll eat that and see you in there. Yeah, hello, folks. Uh, my name's Ian, and you're in my shed. You're welcome, of course. And we're going to go and talk about that uh, strange scientific device I'm just going to finish this mince pie the last of the mince pies somebody asked me what what what's the tape for well it's simple you, you, you know I gotta give my little bit of due to the scrap goddess every time I scrap well when I cut myself I just a bit of uh, masking tape off and we're in business so that's kind of why that's there I don't always use it but it's there when I need it think ahead up here for dancing down there for thinking I tell that wrong way around right let's go and have a look at this scientific contraption what have we got well, I'll be honest, I don't know. I picked up two things. Uh, and I can see there's a lot of socket head Allen screws everywhere. So I've got uh, a selection of Allen keys, my work zone special set, which is Torx and Allen's. And uh, if all that fails, I've got my hammer. I'll do this one first. A well machined block. Nothing on it is magnetic. Okay. So it's got a sight glass, it's got two knurled. Retaining bolts, the lid comes up. So whatever is going into there is under pressure. There's a line there. There's a little lever on the side that if you press that, 
when it's quite stiff it moves that pin so but when you close the lid put the locking thing back on you can't see that line that was under there so that means I guess that means you've got to line it, line whatever it is first uh, before you put the lid down. Allen key, which I guess holds this leg on. Screw, which will hold that uh, holding pin down. A brass circle for the pin holding that leg. And the same on that side. Nice. We've got three connections. Each one's got a hole in. So this is going to be either pneumatic or hydraulic. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it does. This as well as this one has somewhere in tiny letters there we go focus Carlo Herber Strumentizone there we go, that's my German for you or Italian Carlo Herber Strumentazone the only right Listen, I speak Wigginese, I don't speak English. Put you on the tripod for this one. So that's the reason I know that the scientific instruments are part of a scientific instrument because I've googled it and it doesn't help me much really. Now, although I've got my tools out ready, I don't think I'm going to have time to strip these tonight. What with the intro, my dinner and the talk about that what have we got we've got a circle it doesn't move it's fixed there's something on a cog in between and then you move that it's it moves round but every time you move round that engages a slot two allen keys there are probably two under, under them as well ah. uh, yes we have okay so we'll have a look on this side where we've got that obviously screws into something that's got a hole in it a tiny pipe goes all the way down we'll get rid of that so we can uh, I was going to cut it off but come on let's do things properly pull that one side we've got something that screws onto there it says number one that says number two so I guess there's an inlet or an outlet or an inlet and an outlet I guess one of those should be going in there other side got two adjustable legs and Again, something that screws on to something with a big hole in. So something's going in there. Possibly coming out, coming out. I don't understand the adjustable legs bit. On this side, I've got a cap. I've got... Well, that, that was easy. Oh, that's just a cap and a very nicely machined cap it is too there's an o-ring but 
There's nothing, there's no wall in that, that's an Allen key. So what have we got? I haven't got a Scooby-Doo. There ain't nothing magnetic on it. Uh, even the nuts are stainless, apart from the circlet. And I can only tell that because of the rust. So, let's have a little bit of cogitating. There's something going to go in there. Something that's going in there, that's to hold it in place. Something happens. Some cartridge goes in there. And that locating pin, so it fits on a swivel, a burring, a locating pin. Something happens that turns it round once. Let's have a guess. 180 uh, segments so whatever it has is 180 segments and it goes round and I guess if it goes round there's something somewhere that's going to make a a note a measurement of that position and the only way that can happen is because that is purely a spring to stop it going that way and on this side you've got that, a pin there going down a shaft there's something pressing against it on a sliding bar that goes behind this polycarbonate nylon it's very ni nylon probably but that Got a little bar on it which goes in there oh very stiff that moved Well, that was much harder than I expected. So I think, yeah, that was very hard. That, uh, to be fair, and he's a sneaky little look. I have taken it all to bits, but the camera took it was twenty minutes. Um, that means, sorry. I'm going to have to do the ticket bits bit in the next video. Sorry. See you in that one.